Alright people, welcome back to some more card review. So today we are looking at yet another spell for Light Swarm. You already know that as soon as we saw Punishment Dragon, that there was going to be some kind of combination card with Punishment Dragon and Judgment Dragon. So today we are looking at Twilight Twin Dragons. So Twilight Twin Dragons is a normal spell card that reads, If you control a Punishment Dragon, target one Judgment Dragon in your graveyard, add it to your hand, then send the top four cards of your deck to the graveyard. So, my issue with this is that, of course, I already control Punishment Dragon on the field. And it sucks that I have to control Punishment Dragon and not the other way around. Where it's like, hey, if you have Judgment Dragon, then you can grab Punishment Dragon. No, it's only one way. Where you have Punishment Dragon, you get to grab Judgment Dragon back from your graveyard. Where, of course, they're attacked by this in the last card of you where I would prefer to use Monster Reincarnation or Beckoning the Light. But, hey, if I control Punishment Dragon, I can grab back JD. But... If I have Punishment Dragon on the field, that means that I've already banished some of my Light Swarm monsters. Some of my Light Swarm monsters are already banished that Punishment Dragon. So, pretty much, I'm hoping that by sending the top four cards in my deck and whatever else I have left in my graveyard, I'm still able to summon that Judgment Dragon. Now, the problem with that is, is that when summoning that Judgment Dragon, do I want to use my effect? Because, of course, if I use my Judgment Dragon effect, I'm going to blow up my Punishment Dragon as well. So, rip on that. It would have been cool if they made it so... Like, the turn you activate this card, uh, you can go ahead and banish this card to possibly make it so your Punishment Dragon can't control that card effect. So, when you use your Judgment Dragon wipe, your Punishment Dragon will survive the wipe, and then you have two 6,000 6, damage, two 3,000 beaters on the field. So, uh, it doesn't work like that. So, even if you go ahead and grab your Judgment Dragon back and summon it, you don't really want to use your wipe unless, you know... The temptation is so much that you want to wipe your opponent so badly that you want to kill your punishment dragon as well. So uh, that is the first effect. So the second effect is if this card is sent to the graveyard by a light swan monster effect, uh, sometimes that's easy, sometimes it's not. It really depends on the deck. Uh, I've been seeing a couple of 60 card light swan decks where, you know, you play uh, that grass looks greener. And of course, if this card is sent by that, then you do not get the effect. So rip on that. But... Of course, when you have cards like Raiden and Michael and, and uh, Minerva, which, of course, got that reprint, it's a little bit easier, of course, if you mill with JD or if you mill this copy of this card with another copy of this card, then you do not get the effect. But if this card is milled by a Light Sworn monster effect, you can target one Punishment Dragon in your graveyard and add it to your hand and banish the top four cards of your deck. So... If you, I mean, if you're playing a combination with Punishment Dragon and Dungeon Dragon, this card's not bad, but you guys already know how I feel about Punishment Dragon, so uh, I won't go out of my way to be playing this card and or Punishment Dragon, but that second effect is not terrible. Uh, you know, if you have a Punishment Dragon in your grave out, which you might, you know, you could possibly mill Punishment Dragon and mill some Light Swan uh, uh, cards-esque. Uh, you can go ahead and mill this with the Light Swan, grab back your Punishment Dragon, Banish the top four cards of your deck, but hopefully you banish, uh, you know, some uh, Light Sworn names off the top of your deck, and then you're able to just summon Punishment Dragon. But the question is, is Punishment Dragon really worth summoning and playing? Yeah, that's my, that's my gripe. Like, if Punishment Dragon was almost as good as Judgment Dragon, if they were, like, borderline similar, like, if Punishment Dragon, you know, uh, kind of banished all cards on the field except for itself, similar to how uh, Judgment Dragon blows up cards, it's... Punishment Dragon Banish cards, and they worked in tandem, and they were really strong together, that'd be great, but Punishment Dragon is just so lackluster compared to Judgment Dragon, that I just don't even want to really touch the card or anything that has to do with it, you know? There's some of the the Twilight Swarms that are pretty good, and of course, I still gotta review them monsters, because uh, we got a couple more monsters outside of just Jane, and I haven't reviewed them yet, which I will get to, but Punishment Dragon himself, he just doesn't seem like he's worth it to play him or this card, but... I mean, if you really want to play a Twilight Swan deck with Punishment Dragon and JD, then I definitely think that this card is worth it. But I just don't like Punishment Dragon, so for that matter, I'm just going to have to say, nah, I don't really like this card. So that's just my opinion. Anyway, that's all I have to say about Twilight Twin Dragon. So like I said, if there's any card that's going to work in tandem, it would be this. It just kind of sucks that it seems like it focuses more on Punishment Dragon than JD. You know, and that's probably my biggest gripe, that I wish it was both ways, where if I have Judgment Dragon, I can grab back the Punishment Dragon, and, you know, uh, if this card's milled by Light Swan, I could pick a Punishment Dragon or a JD in my graveyard, add back to my hand, you know, uh, that I wish it focused a little bit more on both, instead of just really focusing and hammering and 
uh, punishment dragon, but I guess they're like, hey, you already played the judgment dragon. We don't need to convince you to play him. But maybe we can convince you to play a little bit more of punishment dragon if we make this card and you play this card. So tell me what you guys think about Twilight Twin Dragons in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Like I said, we will be getting to uh, those light swan monsters that, of course, need to be reviewed. But, of course, we have more link monsters. There is so much card review, so many cards to review. So uh, it's not like we're scripting the barrel or anything like that. So uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, that bell for notifications. And I will see you guys next time we do another card review. All right, people. Thanks for watching.